Well, from boats to trains, a massive high-speed rail project that would connect Los Angeles to San Francisco is on track. The California State Senate needed 21 votes to get the project moving. And over the weekend, that's exactly what it got and not a single vote more. As Mark New reports, the groundbreaking project is still very contentious. A vision of how the largest public works project in California history may someday look. The Senate vote authorizes California to spend $2.7 billion on the project and the U.S. Department of Transportation to match that with another $3.3 billion. Less pollution, uh, faster travel times, ease of doing business, reduce congestion and reduce dependency on foreign oil. It will bring the two pillars of California's uh, economy Los Angeles and San Francisco areas much closer together. The drive from Los Angeles to San Francisco takes roughly six to seven hours. California's high-speed rail would have a top speed of 220 miles per hour, cutting the journey to less than three hours. They might start building it. The critical question is if they're ever going to finish it, whether in fact you're throwing money down a, down a big hole. Because the, the fact is you have enough money to begin this project, but you don't have anywhere enough money to finish this project. Professor Richard White is the author of Railroaded, a book about how the transcontinental railroads transformed the U.S. He says no one has explained where the more than $60 billion for the remainder of the high-speed rail project is going to come from. He also says the approved money only funds 130 miles of track in California's Central Valley, an area with far lower ridership than the major cities. He advises California to learn from China's massive venture into high-speed rail first. China, again, is the best example of what are going to be the benefits and are going to be the downfalls. Like in so many things in the modern world, um, China is the best test case for the future of a whole series of technological developments, and I would see what happens in China. Honestly, once we have shovels in the ground, uh, that will continue to build momentum. Uh, other states even, once we have high-speed rail here, other states will clamor for it, and we think that this will start a positive uh, feedback loop of high-speed rail development in America. The High-Speed Rail Authority predicts hundreds of thousands of jobs will be created by the time the project is finished in 2029. But critics contend in an election year that only makes this issue even more political. Digging is expected to begin by the end of the year. Mark New, CCTV, Mountain View, California.